So welcome to this uh, fifth video in a series uh, about creating charts in .xlsx files with Python. And we'll be using Google Colab uh, in this video, uh, a Jupyter Notebook in Google Colab. Um, so in, pre the, in previous videos we covered some common charts in .xlsx files including column, pi, line, and bar. And in this video we're going to look at scatter charts. So uh, let's jump into uh, Google Colab and my Jupyter Notebook that is linked in the description below and we'll go through some of the code required to create a scatter chart in .xlsx files using Python. We're looking at uh, scatter charts. Uh, create, that is creating scatter charts uh, in .xlsx files using Python. Um, so in, like in a, a few other videos I've created, uh, I use the Iris data set from the Scikit-Learn library. Um, I also use the uh, Pandas uh, data frame to Excel method and Pandas uh, Excel, SX, Excel writer, sorry, to create the workbook. Um, again, there's a lot of useful documentation uh, in the on the XLSX writer chart class uh, in the docs, which I've linked here, and a lot of good examples on scatter plots also, which I've also linked here. So um, as always, I do the pip install XLSX Writer, um, even if I'm in a session um, where I haven't had a run dis runtime disconnect um, in Google Colab, I, I just leave it in there. Uh, it doesn't hurt any. So, uh, and then I've also got the import pandas, numpy, and scikit-learn. Um, then here I'm loading um, my iris data set, and then here I'm converting it to a pandas data frame. Um, then I, I do a little um, manipulation to cr create the data frame I want um, that's uh, grouped. And then I go into the with the with uh, pandas dot uh, xl writer. I go into the actual creation of the workbook. And um, so also of note, I set the title to my chart. And here I'm using the enumerate function, which is a built-in function in Python that is incredibly useful. Uh, so I'm going through this choice list I made up here. Um, so, um, and I'm also I also have a counter counter which is I uh, while I go through this list. So I get uh, zero. Um, so so I I count through this list. Um, I'm looping through this list and I'm also getting a count at the same time which is uh, useful um, and I'll explain it some more as we look at the output after we run this so I'm going to go ahead and run this. So and I'm going to, uh, here's the uh, output I've created just making sure everything's okay and the uh, Trace back. Um, I'm going to download this file and now I'll open it up in Excel Libra. Yeah, and we are now looking at the Excel Libra output. And uh, so we accepted the defaults. Um, so this, this is the way um, uh, we were given it in Excel Writer where it created the upside down triangle, triangle and um, a circle um, for our categories. Um, so one thing I did is I did a loop here, I did a for loop uh, and I also used the built in um, enumerate function in Python which is really useful. So how, how does that enumerate function work? This is a bit off topic because we're just really talking about creating uh, XLSX files in Python, but this is a useful tool, so I'll digress here for a moment. Um, so we have this choice list up here. And uh, when I say 4i, j in enumerate choice list, the j is in reference to this guy. So for uh, the first uh, loop, uh, we're taking Satosa. So J is equal to Satosa. And this I, what's useful about it 
instead of just looping through the list is we have a count here. So i is 0. Um, and so I created this row start reference, uh, which is 0 times length, which um, length of um, iris df equals j, which is saying when this particular column is equal to uh, Satosa, uh, you know, give me the length. The length is, uh, I think it's about 50. I think it is 50. Um, um, but 0 times 50 is 0. And then uh, plus 2 gives us 2. So our start reference here for the values is a2. And then the end is i plus 1 which is, you know, in the first, this is zero index, so the first um, item is zero. And so zero, zero plus one times the length is 50, plus one is 51. And so that's our row end. And then you can see if we're going to the second item now, this is one times length of uh, when this column is equal to uh, versicolor. And so this will return 52. And so our row start will be 52. So it's a little, uh, and then, you know, same thing for the row end um, as in the first example. And then I do the same, uh, same business for the categories as well. So, yeah, no, that's a, it was a bit of a strong digression, but, it, you know, it's a useful tool to know uh, for making your code more, you know, compact uh, and often more efficient. Um, so you know, it saved me from writing out chart.add series uh, however many times I needed to write it out, um, which is why I used it. And um, then, you know, it's similar to uh, other types of charts. We just created chart equals uh, uh, add chart type is um, scatter. Um, I put in a title and um, I insert the chart at cell I2. Um, so, yeah, that's a, you know, this is about it for a basic example of a scatter chart in Python. And, it, you know, it's pretty useful uh, visually for you to see these clusters. If I made this a little bit bigger, um, which I can, you know, which you could do. Um, is maybe you can see where these different groups are clustering and that, that might be useful um, for whatever problem you're trying to solve. Um, so yeah, this is just a, a basic example. The code for this is in the description of the video below. Um, so that's about all I have to say about uh, a basic example of a scatter chart um, and you know, created uh, using Python. Um, so that's about it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video.